Imagine our world, more than 7 billion of us, all living together under the same sky. Visualize the beautiful rainforests teeming with life, the deserts resplendent in their sandy dunes, all attuned to one earth. As you go through life, you may wonder what came before it all, and the answer is more astounding than we could ever imagine. But first, we have to take a step back in time. It's 1915, and after countless years of frenzied work, sleepless nights, and brilliant epiphanies, Einstein has unveiled the most beautiful of theories, namely the general theory of relativity. I can't completely cover this theory in this brief video, but I will attempt to summarize it here. The general theory of relativity can be described as a theory about gravity and space. In the world of general relativity, the mystery of what constitutes space is finally explained. Space is not distinct from gravity. Rather, space is the field of gravity. When space curves, gravity curves with it because they are one and the same. This is general relativity at its simplest. It describes an awe-inspiring world filled with luminescent stars, obscure black holes, and us. Researchers like Edwin Hubble started to experiment with Einstein's new theory and found that it predicted that the universe was expanding. Prior to this point, no conclusive evidence had emerged regarding the idea that the universe was expanding. Now that it was here, it led to some very interesting ideas. In fact, it led to the Big Bang Theory. Now, I assume most of you have some idea of what the Big Bang is, so I will go over it briefly. Essentially. The Big Bang says that at the beginning of the universe, approximately 14 billion years ago, all mass was contained at one single point, which is called a singularity. This infinitesimal point rapidly expanded until it became what our universe is today. Through complicated mathematics, scientists managed to offer a likely theory for the beginning of our universe. But what if we want to go back before that? We can now turn to a brilliant new theory proposed by pioneers in quantum gravity. It is called loop quantum gravity. This theory describes how our universe functions while taking into account the uncertainty and craziness of quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, cats can be both alive and dead, and reality is little more than a faint outline. From general relativity, we realize that space is like a trampoline. It bends and moves with mass. When we combine the two, that is, general relativity and quantum mechanics, we get space that is composed of interlocked loops, rather than the seemingly continuous space proposed by general relativity. The interactions of these loops determine the nature of our universe. Similarly, the trampoline map might appear continuous and solid, but we know that it is made up of many molecules. The interactions of the trampoline's molecules determine how the trampoline behaves. With the math provided by loop quantum gravity, scientists have found significant evidence that there is a hypothetical scalar field that creates repulsion when the universe starts to shrink and condense. Therefore, there must be a point when the universe becomes a singularity in which there is no volume but unbelievably high density. At this point, the scalar field's repulsion force would rebound, igniting another Big Bang. This is called the Big Bounce. Based on this, it is extremely plausible that we are just one universe in a long series of previous universes. What does this say about what came before our universe? Well, it says that any number of things could have come before us. The universe may have been host to an extremely advanced alien civilization that achieved instant teleportation and harnessed the energy of their entire galaxy. In this civilization, the aliens may have developed their own moral theories and looked up at the stars with the same sense of wonder. Now, we look up at the same but slightly different sky, wondering what they wanted us to know. 
Perhaps they wanted someone to finally escape the cycle of the big bounce. However, none of that changes the wonder and fulfillment we feel when we realize something fundamental about our universe. Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Until next time, goodbye.